Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Snowdy here, and I'm at the Chicago Comic Con 2009 edition. We're brought here by Wizard World, and we appreciate you watching us. I am sitting here with Mike Kingston, who uh, has an interesting new book out right now called Headlocked, and we're going to talk a little bit about this and exactly what the book is about. And, uh, of course, I'm sure that you can see somebody on my right-hand side, and we're going to talk to him in a little bit. But uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about the comic book first. So tell us exactly what exactly the book is about. Uh, it's about a guy who's a, uh, he's a college theater major, and he, uh, his buddies drag him to a wrestling show kind of against his will. And once he gets there, he's, uh, he's able to see the performance art behind it, and he gets all caught up in it and decides that he really wants to become a wrestler. So the story is about him sort of starting out from nothing, like learning the wrestling business, you know, working his way up to hopefully someday being on TV and being, a, you know, a big famous star. It's uh, sort of a, uh, you know, a journey story. Okay, I say almost a coming of age story to yes, a certain yes, yes, degree. Yes, there's definitely elements of that. Okay, now, was it originally just the one shot, or what, what is this? How has this series progressed? Uh, we did a one shot. It's called Headlock Work of Art. It's kind of like our pilot episode almost. And then we did a mini series called Headlock the Tryout. And uh, we have another mini series on the way. So uh, that uh, progresses like that. It'll be a series of mini series. Okay. Now, what exactly led you to start doing a thing about wrestling? I mean, it's not exactly something that you normally would find a comic book about. It's like superheroes or love. But something about wrestling is just, is, it's kind of off the main field there. Well, I mean, there's definitely a, a, there's definitely a big uh, crossover between. Uh, wrestling and uh, comic books. I mean, the, the colorful costumes and the sort of the larger than life over the top characters and stuff. There's, you know, there, there seems to be a lot of fans of both. Right. And, uh, you know, as far as the book goes, getting the idea, it's, it's essentially, it's my defense of wrestling. I've been a wrestling fan for more than 20 years. And anytime you're a fan of wrestling, you have to defend it. Uh, I agree with you on that yes. one. So by having uh, an examination of the craft of professional wrestling by a performance artist, I hope that you know people that have a sort of cool or indifferent attitude towards wrestling might look at it with a different light, you know, through my sort of examination of it. Now, did you? How how were you? How were you? How did you decide to put this into comic book form? I mean, were were you approached with the idea, or did you approach a comic book company with the idea? Exactly. How how did this finally get to comics? Uh, it's. I've always wanted to be a comic book writer. I've been a comic book fan forever, and uh, that's the way I wanted to do it. Um, I've tried to keep it you know keep make sure I keep the rights to it uh, you know I took it around and talked to different publishers and stuff until I found one that uh, that worked well for me and that was uh, Marcosia and uh, visionary comics is that visionary comics is our studio when we put the book together and we approached publishers and Marcosia is our publisher um, and uh, then we put the book out that way and uh, it's it's been going ever since All right, now something and, and there's a reason why there's somebody to my right that we have to talk about, and this uh, this harkens back to the wrestling thing. You were able to secure Jerry Lawler to do covers for you. Uh, how how did you how did you do that? Uh, I basically uh, I basically stalked him, and uh, it's uh, I think it's easier just to do the cover than it was to file a restraining order. All right, he said that you, you he said that he didn't want to get a restraining order. It was just easier to do the cover. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, now I'm stalking someone to let me do a cover. <laughs> Apparently, he emailed you and asked you to do a cover, and you said, "Let me see the book," and you decided to do it from from the power of the tale. Uh, what what attracted you to the project? Well, it's just um, uh, first and foremost, you know, I was just looking to get my foot into the door on doing some uh, uh, comic book cover work, uh, the sequential stuff, and I learned that word from Mike over there. But the sequential stuff is uh, the you know drawing the inside, the interior of the comic books. I just don't have time to do that. But I love being involved with comics. I've something I wanted to do way before I was in wrestling. As a kid growing up, that was like my my dream to someday be involved with comics. So Mike afforded me the opportunity of doing a, a cover for uh, his book. And after I read the story, it's just it's um you know it's a story not that that um, I lived uh, of, like, but to a degree I did because I mean it's a it's a very realistic tale of how somebody could go about getting in the wrestling business it's not that I was a, a, a drama major or anything like uh, the hero of this Mike's comic book but once once you get your foot in the door and trying to get into wrestling a lot of the same stuff that's in this book is what almost everyone who gets into uh, pro wrestling goes through and so it was it's a very realistic story and it was uh, fun to read and, and uh, I enjoyed uh, doing the, being being a part of the the whole of the process. Well, I, since since you are a, a professional wrestler and professional on-air talent as you are now, uh, 
and since you uh, want to get your foot in the door, uh, how much time does it take you to actually do a full page cover? Well, it, it just depends. Uh, like right now, uh, and I'll tell you about the cover for Headlocked in a second, but right now behind me, we have a, uh, this is a, a, an oil painting, a cover that I've, that's going to be a cover of uh, one of the new Zorro comic books uh, for Dynamite Comics. And I, I spent probably about a total of maybe eight or nine hours on this. And so, um, but now on this, on this, by the same token, I did, this, this was oils and the drying time and all that stuff is a little bit longer process. Mike's, I was kind of under the gun to get it finished. We had the deadline when I was brought in. He already had the date that he had to have the cover finished by. So we turned out, uh, I was actually drawing part of the cover in a, they opened up, uh, we were wrestling at a, a small, doing an independent show at a, at a high school. They opened up the art room for me to go in and sit down at a little desk and, and work on part of that cover uh, for a couple hours before I went out and wrestled that night. And then the next morning, uh, when it, Michael really needed the, the work done, he showed up at about what time, 7.30 at my showed up at about 7.30 at my hotel room and I drug myself out of bed and literally sat and finished it as Michael was looking over my shoulder with his lovely wife there and it was just like uh, down to the wire. But I mean, probably all told on that, I spent about uh, five or six hours. So it all depends on depends on the uh, amount of work that you have to put into it yeah. and what, 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 what uh, well, not oils that you're using, but what uh, what you're using to, to brush wise and what have you. Right, right, the media, whatever media. And, and actually, I, I enjoy working in oils. I can do it pretty quickly. Uh, and, and then sometimes, it's like Mike said, if, the t if it gets too time consuming, you know, he has colorist and, and, and that sort of thing. And I could just actually do the pencils even, and he could have inkers finish it, or I could do the pencils and ink, and then have colors finish it, you know, which would save a lot of time. Side note to the, uh, to the headlock cover. While he was doing it, there was a parade of other wrestlers that were on the show that were coming in and like checking out the book, and everybody was going crazy. So it was very cool. Like Samoa Joe from TNA, totally going nuts. Well, as I say, you, you've shown the book to the Hurricane from WWE and Rob Van Dam, and they've all they've all said positive things about it. Everybody's liked it so far. Thank God. Yeah. Now, if people want to order back issues, or if they want to order current issues, or if they want to see where the next issues are coming out, do you have a website that they can go to? Uh, we have uh, really, if there's a social networking platform, we got a page for it. We got a MySpace, we got a Facebook, we got a Twitter page. Uh, I have an email address, it's headlockcomic at yahoo.com. Any of those ways, I'm, I'm fairly accessible on the internet. I'm all over wrestling message boards. I mean, people can find me. Well, guys, we really appreciate the time that you've taken out with us. It means a lot to us, and we're always happy to see new comic book artists trying to get a shot. I mean, you know. <laughs> Good I luck need, with that. Don't quit your day job. I no. I need the work. I need the money. You know, <laughs> you know and we appreciate the time. And, and, you know, I've always been a big wrestling fan. I've always been a big comic fan. And this is something that in, in, encapsulates two of my favorite things. And it's nice to see somebody actually do it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now you said you're going to keep doing this, right? There's going to be more miniseries coming out. Coming. So keep watching the Diamond Retailers and keep going to your local comic book store. Follow the websites, you know, our MySpace and stuff. That's where we update all our information. As uh, That's where people can find out when they order them and how, you know, when they're going to be out and all that stuff. And all kinds of neat stuff from our, you know, convention travels and whatnot. So it's a, it's a fun little fun little thing. So. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. And just a quick question. Do you know where your next paycheck's coming from? I certainly do. I'm actually uh, running for the mayor office of mayor in my hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Special elections being held October 15th. I'm going to be on the ballot among about 12 or 14 other candidates. I uh, got to get a shot winning that. That pays $178,000 a year. But I'm actually going to, um, in the last week of my campaign, I'm going to break the news that if I'm elected, I'll work for a dollar a year. No, they don't, you know, they can, we can take that money and uh, put it back into the city budget and, and save somebody a job or save some money somewhere. But um, my next paycheck pretty much comes from the WWE and doing Monday Night Raw. Jerry, seriously? It makes me sick to go to the mailbox every Tuesday and pick up that check. <laughs> you poor man. But, Jerry, thank you very much for your time, and thank you very much, everybody. I just, I'm flabbergasted to be here just to see something like this. And it's, I also think it's very nice that you care about your community no, so much. How do, how, do, how do people are so, uh, you're supposed flabbergasted? To have, you're supposed to have a certain look when you're flabbergasted. Let me see it. That's flustered. Wait, that's wrong. Well, flabbergasted. Flabber, yeah. flabber, okay, well, show me. Show me. No, no, no. I'm, no. I'm, I'm, 
putting you to the test here. Well, I know the flabbergasted look. He's, that's not oh. it. You're just mean, man. You just did flustered. Come on, now flustered. Tell me flabbergasted. No, no, no that's, that's stunned. Stunned. Well, that's my normal look, man. <laughs> Come on, one time. Reach down deep and pull out flabbergasted. It's like a stun. There. Come on. Well, that's shit. That's, what? <laughs> I'm getting paid. You got a cramp. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, you're <laughs> mean, old man. <laughs> I'm gonna get my ass kicked anyway. No, but thanks. And it, it, I, I think it shows a lot for your community that you care enough to just take the pay cut, just so you can do the job and get it done and give that money to the back to the community. Exactly. And I wish you luck on that, sir. Thank you very thank much. You. you know, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, what else can I say? Larry Snuddy, and we'll be back with some more interviews. Just keep on watching and give the book a try and. Vote. Vote Early twice. And often. <laughs> Only in Chicago. <laughs> All, right. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.